Hello quilt artists, my name is Shonda, and welcome to my channel, Under the Needle Quilting and Crafts. Um, so, it's Friday, but this is a Thankful Thursday video. Um, I did not make a video yesterday. I'm making it today. Um, I did not make a video yesterday because, honestly, it was a rough day. Yesterday was a rough day. And one of the reasons why I started doing Thankful Thursday is because I have been having a tough time. And now I'm starting to think some of it might be menopausal. Because I forgot that mood swings and stuff like that are a part of menopause. And although I don't have like giant mood swings day to day, I definitely have periods where I'm down. And that's not normal for me, really. Um, and I, maybe it's not normal, maybe just because in my prior, not my prior life, but in my earlier life, I had younger kids and I was so busy, I did not have time to feel anything. <laughs> Because I'm literally getting up at 6 a.m., shower, dress, you know, drop off kids to daycare, um, then commute to work. And that, that process might take an hour, hour and a half, then work all day, and then come home, fighting traffic, another hour, hour and a half, you know, picking up kids to come home. And then I've got to cook for these people. You know, so I got to get dinner on the table and, you know, there are chores to be done. I've got to do bedtime stories and diaper changes and stuff like that. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe when I was younger, I just I don't know if I just didn't have time to feel down or if, <laughs> if this is like menopause related. But it's definitely something I've been going through for like the past couple years. I will say that um, in general, 2024 has been a better year. It, it's definitely been more up, but only because I've been specifically doing things to help bring my spirits up, right? I've been specifically doing things. So maybe that's it. I don't know. Um, but I'm starting, I'm thinking maybe it might be a bit menopausal. But yesterday was a bit of a rough day. I was not having a good day. And I was having difficulty finding something to be thankful for and that was why I started doing this was because it was like a little extra just to remind myself once a week of something that I'm thankful for and honestly this week I'm just happy that my sojo is back and my sojo is back why because I started a new project even though I said I wasn't I think I mentioned it last week that I was gonna you know do a quilt a baby quilt for my cousin that just had a baby um or maybe i didn't I don't, maybe i didn't <laughs> but i think i did um but this is what i'm working on this is the floral fence rail quilt by missouri star uh natalie designed this one and so it's very simple the blocks are simple to make we just have some rail fence blocks and we have some fine geese that we put together into blocks and then we have some applique that we've done here where she cut out some flowers from the fabric that she was using and used those flowers as her applique um so that's what i decided to do and all my blocks are made so i used a 16 i'm hungry i'm starving all of a sudden oh um i'm using a 16 piece fat quarter bundle where's the rest of my fabric i don't know where i put it um, but I'm using a 16-piece fat quarter bundle called Norma Rose by Natalie Barnes. Um, and so that's what I chose to use. And my blocks are all done. But I also decided to make my quilt a little bit bigger uh, because this quilt has 12 blocks, right? So it's uh, three by four. I decided to make mine four by five. So I ended up making additional fence rail blocks that will basically go, um, you know, here. Because I didn't want to make, I didn't want to have to make the applique section larger. So I chose to just make more fence rail blocks. Um, so mine is going to look a little different than this. Um, and then if I decide to, if, you know, when I go to lay it out, if I don't like it, I can always just adjust. I don't know, there it goes. Um, so I had a 15, a 16 piece fat quarter bundle. I used 15 of them because one of the prints was this kind of white typographic and I didn't want, I'm using a white background, so I didn't want to use this. I wanted to use all the colorful stuff. And even though, um, sorry, it was, did I say fat eighth bundle? I'm not sure if I said quarter or eighth. I used a fat eighth bundle and this is what I've got left. I've got, you know, a nice little, uh, chunk of fabric left from each fat eighth. 
And I have two more of these. I bought three of these Fat Eighth bundles because they were like super cheap. It was like 10 bucks or something like that for a 16 piece uh, Fat Eighth bundle. So I think I bought like three of them. Um, so I'm going to show you guys my blocks. Of course, three of the blocks are just solid white, right? Those are the, that's where the applique is going. And then these are my three flying geese blocks. It's one, two, three. And these are the fence rail blocks that I made. I have 14 of them. So. Um, so I've definitely been sewing. I even I even pressed my seams open, which I never do. Um, and there was really no need to press them open. I was just enjoying the process. <laughs> One of my seams folded. I was just enjoying the process. I, like I said, I haven't been quilting very much. And so, um, and I just don't have any desire to pick up any of my existing uh, whips, uh, my existing UFOs. I just don't have any desire to pick them up none zero zilch and so i've been doing more crochet and i haven't been doing much sewing except for the small projects that we get in our open gate quilt subscription box i gotta find somebody to give this to um so that's how i've been spending my time making the small projects in the open gate quilt subscription box and that's really all the sewing i've been doing i've not done anything big so and even this is only going to be is it 36 by 48 when I'm done? No, sorry, 32. 32 by 48. Yeah, 32 by 48. So nice little baby quilt size because the one in the, the pattern is 24 by 32. And that was just a little too small. Um, even though it is like a new, new baby, she's only a few months old. That's just a little too small. I wanted something a little a little chunkier. And I like that I have fabric left over. If I you know, go to lay this out and I don't like how it looks, I can choose to do something different. But um, tomorrow my stepdaughter has a hair appointment in the morning. So I'm not sure how much quilting I'm going to be able to get done, at least in the morning. Um, maybe when I get home. Honestly, I would like to get this puppy laid out. Um, I want to get all my blocks laid out to see like how how it's going to look um so i know if i need to make more blocks or not or change anything or change you know change my layout or what i'm trying to do so um yeah i'm excited about this <laughs> um it just felt really good to you know i ironed up the fabric and you know they're fat eighths so they're smaller and just really easy to iron you know, because they're half the size of a fat quarter. So it was super easy to iron, even though my space is still a disaster. Um, and that's another reason why I haven't been sewing is because I can't sew when my space is this messy. Because my projects are generally at least a lap size. And there's just not enough space. Like, there's just not enough space. I need to, I still, I need to clean up. And I haven't. I just haven't. I just haven't. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to get this laid out. Um, I want to see how this is going to look. So, um... I'm probably going to lay this out when I get home tomorrow um, after the hair appointment. And I would like to get my rows sewn together um, by the end of the weekend. I, I would like that. That would be nice. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Um, but I would like to get my rows sewn together um, and have my, have my quilt top put together. Because then once my quilt top is put together, then I can start looking through my fabrics to find the best flowers that I can cut out to applique on here um, but it's I figure it's going to be easier to choose which flowers are going to fit best when the whole quilt top is done and that's how Natalie at Missouri Star did hers and that sounded like a really great idea I feel like you get a better idea of what's going to work with the space and what's going to work um, with the coloring of the the fabrics that I'm using but I just love this fabric it's so colorful. I like that it's it's floral, but it still has, you know, blues in it and stuff like that. So just really a fan. Just love how these colors pop. Um, in my crochet world, still working on the same stuff. Um, I've done a couple more rows um, of this blanket here. So this puppy is coming along. 
I love how those cables are turning out. I like the color choices that I that I went with. I'm really happy with this. And I've worked a little bit more. Oh, and for that for that baby quilt, I've got this two yard cut. I'm, I don't need two whole yards, but one yard isn't enough. But um, I need slightly more than a yard. Well, yeah, yeah, because I don't think this is. I don't know if this flannel is 44 or 60. Maybe I only need a yard of it. I'm not sure. Um, but I do have this flannel, and I think I'm going to use this unless I find something that I like better. And that's going to be my backing for the baby quilt. Um, I've been working on this one a little bit, too. I've done a little bit more of this. And this project really is just for me to use up some yarn. I'm holding two skeins at a time. <laughs> and so I've already used up two skeins. Um, no, sorry, four. I've used up four skeins, right? Is that right? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, yeah, I think I've used up four skeins, I think. I can't remember. Anywho. Um, so still going on with this one here. I'm liking how this looks. I love the texture of this blanket still. Um, so still working on that. I started another washed cloth, but, um, it's not done yet. And I don't think I have the washcloth with me. Um, or do I? Yeah, I do. So I've been working on this one. So yeah. That's what I've been working on. I don't think there's anything else. Is there anything else? No. No. Right? No. There's nothing else. That's it. <laughs> so again, thankful my sojo is back happy to be working on another quilt um just happy to be sewing again um i think what i'm going to do is um i'm going to clean up my space and i'm going to get well i keep i, I keep saying i'm going to clean up my space and i don't but eventually I'm going to clean up my space and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just I think I might have mentioned this before I think I'm just going to pick one project each month and so I don't know if I'm going to start this I'll probably start it in October September is my birthday month it's 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 a busy month there's stuff going on um there are things planned so probably not for September or maybe I don't know we'll see um I do have one quilt that just needs binding um I think I think for September I'm going to try to work on finishing up these um small projects I have sitting over here this um wall hanging that I need to cut my bias binding for and get bound and then these um these tablecloths that I made I know I've showed you guys these not tablecloths but placemats and I just to chose this like basic gray background, solid, because I just had a bunch of it. Um, so maybe th that's what I'll do for September. I'll just try to work on getting these this done. Um, because those are things that I can see. So once they're done, like those placemats can go on the table and then I'll be able to look at them and see them and enjoy that. And the wall hanging can get hung up in the living room because it matches or I can even hang it in my kitchen because it matches that too. Actually, I think I might put it in the kitchen. Um, so but yeah, I think maybe that's what I'll do for September. Um, that'll be that'll be a good time. That'll be fun. Um, but I think maybe starting October, I'll just choose one project that's existing and I will pull that out. I'm going to give myself some grace here. Um, and if I want to start a new project, I'm just going to start a new project. I'm not I'm not going to fight this anymore. I've been fighting myself for months now because I don't want to start anything new, but I have no desire to pick up anything old. Um, and I didn't want to start anything new just because I have so many unfinished projects that I really couldn't justify it. But at the end of the day, do I have to justify it? Like, this is my hobby. This is my home. This is my uh, 
sanity. This is my comfort. This is my therapy. And so who cares if I have 50 whips, right? Who, who, who's, who, who does it hurt? Who am I hurting? Like, I've already got this fabric. I'm not buying any new fabric, but, you know, I am kind of tempted by that Hello Autumn bundle that Monique is selling. I'm, I'm super tempted. Um, but I'm not buying a bunch of fabric, so, and I've got the stuff here. So if I take something out and I start a project and I don't finish it, so what? So what? I cannot let my, my source of release become a source of stress and it's becoming a source of stress because I'm putting these rules and limitations on myself about no you can't start something new because you got all these projects that you need to finish that you were so excited about and you haven't finished them and so what so what so <laughs> that is my philosophy right <laughs> so what they, I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do what I want I'm just gonna do what I want um, I, I tried, I think I did talk about this. I tried to do the one project and I still have that one project out and I did touch on it a little bit, but it was just a little too fiddly. Um, it was my postcard from Sweden quilt and I think I'm going to have to go back and like, I think I'm gonna have to press all the, like all the, all the blocks are sewn. All the blocks are, all the triangles are put together. All the blocks are sewn. They just have to be pressed and then sewn into rows and then sew the rows together. And some of the rows have been done. So some of them, some of them, I think I've done like four or five rows or something like that. Um, so <sighs> the tedious thing about that project is pressing how to is pressing your seams so that they nest and it's not it's it's a pain so I think I'm just going to give up on that part I'm not even going to worry about it I think I'm just going to press all my seams in the same daggone direction um and let the chips fall where they may either that or I'll just press them open because that's the when I pulled that project out it was such a pain in the ASS um to have to um figure out like lay the block down look at the diagram right look at the diagram lay the block out and then figure out which way I need to press it so that when I sew it the next block the seams will nest I don't want to do that anymore I did that for the rows that are put together that's what I did I don't want to do it anymore it was I didn't mind it then but I'm certainly minding it now when I'm picking it back up um mid project it's just not it's not working so I think that'll be a better, I think that'll be better for me to do. I think that'll, that'll work out better for me if I just either press everything to one side and nothing nests and don't worry about it or press everything open um, and just, you know, use pins when I, cause I don't, I don't, I don't like to use pins unless I have to. I do use pins sometimes. Like when I'm sewing long things together, I will use pins. Um, but generally I like to have my seams oppose each other so that they nest so that I don't need a pin and I just use my finger as the pin because I don't care about perfection. Um, so yeah, um, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna either, like I said, press them open and have to do more pinning when I sew my blocks together or I'm just gonna press them to one side and even then I'm gonna have to, anyway. I do want to get back to that project. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I've been working on. Um, yeah, that's what I've been working. Um, yeah, no, I just, I, cause my, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hold on. I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> No, okay, that's it. That's it. That's all I've been working on. Um, I'm having a good time over here. Um, yeah, I want to get some crocheting done tonight. So um, it's 1030 Friday. It's 1030. Um, I got to pick up my son from work tonight. Don't know what time that's going to be. So when I end this video, I'll probably go take a shower, throw on some leggings and a t-shirt, and then go pick him up when he calls and then spend the rest of my time tonight crocheting, I guess. Maybe or not. Um, anyway, that's it for me. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.